What is going on, everyone? Today, we're going to be talking about something that I don't believe should happen. Well, have you ever wanted to play Candy Crush Saga in virtual reality? Because that very well could be the actual reality of what's going to happen. Uh, Facebook is actually set to purchase the Oculus Company. Um, they're going to pay about $2 billion for it. Um, the deal is expected to be closed at the second quarter of this year. Well, it's, it's kind of fucked up in my opinion. Um, Oculus was crowdfunded through Kickstarter. And people outside of the, that bought dev kits, they're the ones that have theirs. But people that actually backed the project don't even have their headset yet. And they're already selling the company. So, I think it's a, a messed up deal. Um, so basically how the deal's going to break down is it's $400 million in cash and $1.6 billion in Facebook stock. Uh, and then as well as an additional $300 million if the Oculus meets certain performance targets, which I hope that nobody will actually continue because I think Facebook's going to ruin it. I mean, they ruin pretty much everything they touch. Um, though it was pitched as a video game device, Facebook plans to use its technology for communication, media, and other forms of entertainment. So for all you Facebook stalkers out there, I mean, instead of just looking at your computer screen, you can live the moment and reach out and touch those virtual faces through the Oculus. So I'm sure this has a lot of appeal to some people that want to play Candy Crush Saga in virtual reality or stalk people in virtual reality. Um... Apparently, they feel that the uh, Oculus has the potential to be the most social platform ever. Imagine sharing not just moments with your friends online, but entire experiences and, and adventures. So, I mean, I guess it, I can see where the points are for that. I guess I, I take a video of myself riding a roller coaster and Joe Schmo's like, Oh, let's see, I'm going to wear my Oculus and I'm going to ride this roller coaster with him after I upload the, face, or the video to Facebook. I, I don't really really like it though um, in a post on his personal profile page uh, Mark Zuckerberg presented uh, scenarios such as sitting courtside at sports event studying with a group of students or consulting face to face with a doctor as potential uses for virtual reality but here's the thing technically recording those sports events because I'm sure it, maybe he's talking about local high school events and stuff like that. But if people would record a Major League Baseball game, technically, unless they have permission from Major League Baseball, they can't really upload that and share it with other people, virtual reality or not. Uh, the acquisition is a huge sum for a company that is yet to release a consumer-facing product. Uh, it made its public debut at the 2012 E3. Uh, that summer, they launched their Kickstarter, which eclipsed its... They only wanted 250000 and they got nearly 10 times that. Interest in the device has risen steadily since then. Uh, DevKit 2 was just revealed at GDC. Uh, 90 million in venture funding over the last two years. 75,000 people have ordered developer kits in order to test the device. I was actually going to order a dev kit too, just to mess around with and play some of the stuff that's actually been av that's actually available now. Um, like one of the games that uh, launched on Steam Early Access yesterday, Montes. It's actually a full Oculus Rift game. It's already ready. And as I said, they haven't released one to the general public. Uh, Zuckerberg did not even provide a table for when that might happen. So with Facebook buying it, I think it actually might be pushed back. For now, the Oculus team is going to remain focused strictly on gaming. Um, the Facebook chief financial officer told investors that the $2 billion valuation of the company was based on gaming opportunities alone, and it's not a lonely field, which I'm sure Sony 
and it's his ex are sitting back right now saying thank you Facebook because now they know they really wouldn't have a competition and Microsoft they said that they've been toying around virtual reality themselves the acquisition comes just weeks after Facebook announced it was buying WhatsApp for 19 billion so I mean Facebook's just pretty much going out and buying anything that anybody has any interest in of course I guess that's good for them because they make a shit ton more money but Oculus it, it doesn't belong anywhere near Facebook in my opinion WhatsApp that's fine it's a messaging platform um, Facebook does not have a business model for Oculus but revenues won't center around selling this headset because you know why people will be playing Candy Crush Saga spending thousands and thousands of dollars to crush the virtual candy I mean you'll almost be able to taste the candy the huge purchase shows that every major tech player is making a big bet on wearable devices Google is continue, continuing to develop Google Glass which runs on Android of course Samsung has their smartwatches with Oculus Facebook is making a remarkably bold bet that people in the future will want to be fully immersed in technology. I don't see virtual reality headsets taking off to where they're a common device in people's homes for a few more years. And by that time, I think Sony, maybe Microsoft are going to be the only ones because in my opinion, Facebook's just going to ruin Oculus. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you in the next